this virtual scientific director with Ziva Fertility Centers. In previous videos, we talked about what azospermia is. Let's discuss the treatment options for azospermia. But just to recap, what is azospermia? Azospermia is a condition where sperms are not present in the semen sample. Now, to rule out presence of even one or two, the entire sample is uh, assessed very carefully and only then an azoospermia report is generated because you have to understand that even if very few sperms are present in few tens or lesser than that, there is a chance of having your own child through IVF. Now, what are the causes of azoospermia? There could be a chromosomal abnormality. There could be the cause of hormonal imbalances. You could have had a previous vasectomy done or some genetic issues could also be involved causing azoospermia. But let's look at the treatment options in detail. Treatment options involve hormonal therapy or TSA testicular extraction of sperms. Before doing all that, your urologist or fertility specialist will ask you to get a hormonal assessment. Remember, testosterone, follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, inhibin, these are few hormones which are very important for sperm production. If these hormonal values are also imbalanced, sperm production can be diminished. So when the reports are assessed and hormonal balance could be the reason for azoospermia, then hormonal treatment is suggested. This treatment can go on for one or two months and after that, that a semen analysis is performed to see if sperms were produced and uh, they are found in the semen. If such a case has happened, then these sperms can be used for IVF. Now, when there are no hormonal imbalances, when everything seems to be okay, it could be a case of obstructive azoospermia. In such cases, the patient is taken up for TSA, testicular extraction. It's a very simple procedure where the patient is uh, put under anesthesia. It's a 15 to 20 minutes procedure where a very thin needle is put into the testis and a sample is extracted and looked for sperms. These sperms cannot be used for any other procedure other than ICSI, intracytoplasmic sperm injection. A sperm is selected and each egg is injected with, with single sperm. That is called as ICSI. Success rate of uh, embryos formed from such sperms are also very good. Now, in some cases where TSA also may not give us sperms, micro TSA is performed where the, the tubules inside the testis are looked more microscopically and even if very few, some tens or twenty sperms are also found, ICSI can be performed to generate embryos. If you want to understand more about azoospermia, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.